This Republican primary is being reshaped with outside money from Republican groups and Democratic groups. And the spending suggests that these Republican super PACs do not want Don Blankenship to represent the Republicans on the ballot here. But Democrats in D.C. do. Blankenship is a former coal baron who recently served a year in prison on a misdemeanor charge tied to the Upper Big Branch mine disaster. So I asked Blankenship why Democrats might want to boost him. It could be a host of reasons. You'd have to ask them. It could be that they think that Manchin can beat me and can't beat them, but uh, I don't think that's the case at all. It could be that they like me. I don't know. One of the Republicans, the Democratic PAC called Duty and Country, is trying to tank Congressman Evan Jenkins, who told a debate crowd in Wheeling last night that's a sign of strength. Over the last few days, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and their dark money PACs have been pushing tens of thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars into West Virginia. It's when the Democrats are trying to beat you in a primary that ought to tell you something. Not all the outside influence in the race comes from shadowy super PACs, though. The Attorney General Patrick Morrissey is name dropping some bold faced Republican leaders. I like Scott Walker. Uh, you know, Rand Paul just endorsed me. Uh, we have a number of folks out there in the Senate who are very thoughtful. So I think there are a number of people out there today that care a lot about concepts of freedom limited government, who are true constitutional conservatives. Uh, that's really my model. This is a race where everybody is trying to cast themselves as the biggest ally to President Trump, and we're going to know a lot more about where they all stand at 6 o'clock tonight when the first Fox News poll of the primary voters is released. John.